Well, obviously, um, when we heard the news breaking on Thursday evening, it was actually quite a shock. Um, I don't think really anybody expected uh, to happen so quick. But uh, I think it really was the news breaking was the sense of, of history of, of something historical had just, just happened in the death of the, the, the a monarch who had served for 70 plus years. And for all of us, a man of my age, 60 years of age, and others who have never known anybody but Queen Elizabeth to be uh, on, on the throne. I just think it was the magnitude of uh, what had happened. Certainly he left us very uh, shocked and, and even, I'll be honest with you, emotional. Had the Queen ever been to Lurgan or close to her brown house? The Queen had never uh, visited uh, Lurgan, don't know, but the Queen Mother was here in 1953 uh, as part of the uh, coronation celebrations uh, as well. But we are very proud to say that the uh, present King, which is uh, Charles, uh, was with us no less than uh, three years ago and spent over two and a half hours here at uh, Burnley House. And I had the, the pleasure of his company for, for them uh, near three hours and long conversations with him. So that's something I'm going to cherish also as, as well. And would there be a possibility that he might visit at some stage? Well, certainly we would hope so. He's uh, promised that he would always keep in contact with us, which he has. And uh, now he is uh, King Charles III. Um, well, we certainly would not uh, refuse uh, to, uh, a visit by, by Charles to come back and see us again. It would be lovely. It really would be. What are, are the plans now that the uh, the morning and the week and more of morning are, are in place? What have you been doing here? What will you be doing over the coming week? Well, when the news broke on, on Thursday night, we had a very busy weekend uh, scheduled. And it was also obviously the European Heritage Open Days. And with all the sporting um, things been um, cancelled or postponed and a lot of events, we felt too that it would be appropriate that we wouldn't go ahead with our tour. So instead of a busy weekend, we actually had a very quiet weekend. We expect uh, a quiet week this week as, as well as it is uh, really a time of mourning. But we do here have at Burnham House, we have opened a book of condolence and uh, the first book was filled very, very swiftly. We're now on to our second Book of Condolence and we would invite people if they would like to come and uh, sign the book and even come into our tea rooms or keeping our tea rooms open for people to come in have time of reflection, remembrance, uh, even a quiet time. So the book's here for anybody who wants uh, to, to sign it. On Wednesday evening we will be having a, a service of reflection and remembrance here at our War Memorial in the grounds of Brownlow House and um, we've invited all the loyal orders will be there and um, quite a significant amount of community groups wishing to um, express their sympathies as well. So we'll be gathering here on Wednesday night in uh, sombre fashion, in reflection and in remembrance for a short uh, religious service to remember the life of Queen Elizabeth II. On the Monday of the uh, funeral, we did actually have a, a function that was due to take place. Uh, in fact, uh, we had some good folks from uh, the, the South of Ireland were coming up to um, be with us on, on next Monday. But we've been speaking to them uh, this morning and uh, they're quite understanding and, and feel it quite appropriate that the, the visit didn't go ahead, being next Monday would be the funeral of uh, Queen Elizabeth. So next Monday, Brown House will be completely closed for the entire day. And uh, most of us, I think, will just take up our positions in front of the, the TV and simply watch uh, the service. So I would say next Monday would be a day really of, of nothing, uh, except uh, joining with the nation, uh, those who wish to mourn uh, the passing of our Queen.